Independence Day, also National Barbecue Day, so we're celebrating here in our backyard. And we've been making Absolutely. corn so far. Ron has scorched his corn, but Burned he's still it. trying to eat it. You know, sometimes it tastes good. I call it blackened corn, which makes it sound so much better, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. And I'm about to make some more of that, so I'm going to make some Mexican street corn today. And so what I first first attempt ever at this. This is an online recipe. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. So oh. watch out, Ron. I don't. So wanna... Ashley, who's usually our photographer, we we've, we've taken her off photography. And this is corn as well. Today because this is more important. She's our, our master griller today. Well, she's got Joe's tasty Tuesday apron on, so you know she means business. <laughs> so I'm going to flip this corn in here now. But for the Mexican street corn, you're not putting a foil on it. No, it said just put Good it on like this. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. You know I did that. I had to hustle on that. I know. Really hard. It's going to, uh, it said two minutes on each side. Okay. So we're going to see what happens. There's some heat coming off that grill. Are you, you going to season it or anything? No. You're going to sit a cold you piece of corn on there? <laughs> yeah, you put the seasoning no on butter? afterwards. I've got butter. No, no, no. <laughs> afterwards, you put the stuff on. Okay, all right. That's what it said Trust online. Me. That's what she said. That's so, what, yeah. Yeah, who was the chef online anyway? <laughs> uh, we want you guys to send in pictures of you barbecuing, you grilling today, because we've got some meat inside over on Local 7. In the next hour, We're going to be so. making some hamburgers, hot dogs. We got shish kebabs too, right? Yes. Yeah, so we've got shish kebabs. Uh, are these the kebabs, skewers, maybe? What we'll do them at a time. On so the basically, we got some steak we're going to put on there. We've got some peppers. Ron, you want to talk about some of the things that have come out of your garden and our straw bale gardens? We're we've using some, some of those uh, vegetables yeah. today as well. That's and we've right. got a pretty so this good This is a jalapeno, setup. right? Yeah, that's a, that's a monster jalapeno. That's a, just a regular bell pepper. Now, I've got like a smaller, regular jalapeno. We're going to put that. Just we're going to chop those up on some of the kebabs. And then. Alexandra and I have these cherry tomatoes. These are mine from home. I didn't yes. have as many as you did. I got 15 from my cherry tomato here in the straw bale garden. Okay. So we're going to put those on the kebabs too. So I've got a lot of meat. And I have a cucumber that was so huge. And what I have done, I've cut it up into fours. But it was a giant cucumber. <laughs> Do you think uh, it'll be could... good on the grill? I think so. That shows how much water we've had this year. Hey, check, check out our cupcakes. So we've They're got melting. these outside. Get the fly and, away. And, oh my gosh. Okay. okay. I didn't see a fly. No. They are melting. That's how hot it already is today here at what 645, 650. Yes. Right. We've got the grill going. We're going to be doing a lot more here on Local 7 in the next hour with our meat. We're going to bring it out here and we're going to make sure that Ron is not in charge so he doesn't burn it for us. Ashley's going to watch for him. And, well, I may be burning this corn, so we'll we'll find out. That's well. Oh, it looks okay right now. All right, we'll be back we'll with more news in just a minute.